This comes as the controversial pandemic bill is set to pass Parliament with a vote expected later today. Julie Bradley is live from Melbourne. We didn't catch the beginning of that media conference, but a crossbench MP has confirmed his support for the legislation. Did Daniel Andrews this morning uh, say that he was confident of this passing as well? He is confident that this legislation is going to pass Parliament later today, Laura. We've heard the government say that the new COVID variant, Omicron, has really uh, changed the game in the way that it needs to now pass this legislation so that there are rules in place in the uh, event of a future pandemic and also in the event of future variants. Now, we have heard from Transport Matters MP Rod Barton this morning speaking outside of Parliament. He's been really the deciding vote, that final vote that's needed to pass this controversial pandemic bill. He has said that he is deciding now to support this legislation and that is after six key amendments were signed off on by the Andrews government. He said that discussions went well into the night last night. The key changes include that there will now be more uh, scrutiny, more transparency demanded of the Andrews government in relation to this decision making in the face of future pandemics. Also, there will be an end to the possibility of indefinite detention. The key changes are the establishment of a new panel that will oversee appeals to detention enforced by public health orders. This is moving control away from the state government or the chief health officer. Public health orders will also be reviewed by a new parliamentary joint special committee. And Laura, this will be made up of a minority of government MPs and chaired by someone from the crossbench or the opposition. And that group will also be able to recommend against pandemic orders. We've heard from Rod Barton this morning, but also, as you've said, Premier Daniel Andrews, all commenting on these latest developments. This is a far better bill than what we had and we have curbed the powers of this government. My relationship with the government and, uh, and myself is frosty at the best of times. Um, I've been battling them all the time, and um, I did what had to be done, which was right. These are uh, extraordinary arrangements because a pandemic is an extraordinary thing. It's not something that we face uh, all that often. Opposition leader Matthew Guy has rubbished these amendments and he said that the government has refused to negotiate with the coalition on this pandemic bill. Yeah, they're Mickey Mouse amendments. They're not serious. The government wanted to get a serious piece of legislation through the parliament. They had the offer from the Liberal and National Parties. We were there to work with them. Our phone never rang. They never bothered to call, which means they wanted to play politics from the very start. Now, Laura, this pandemic bill, it has sparked a number of protests here outside of Victoria's Parliament over the past few weeks. As you can see behind me, protesters have already gathered here at the steps of Parliament in anticipation of this final vote. And the current emergency powers are due to expire on the 15th of December, so the government is certainly keen to pass this legislation as soon as possible. Juliet, thank you.